Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually on dot loop. Now, even if you do not utilize dot loop, this will actually help you with whatever transaction software you are utilizing, because this tip today is actually going to be about how to change a JPEG or a PNG into a PDF so you can upload it properly. All right, so a lot of times you may have gotten, you know, a scanned document back from someone, or maybe they just actually took a picture of the document and sent it to you as a text message. Well, that's going to display as a JPEG, all right, or a PNG, depending on your phone. Uh, nine times out of ten, if not ten times out of ten, it'll be a JPEG. All right, regardless, though, in order to actually upload it into transaction software like Dot Loop, you're going to need a PDF instead. All right, so in order to do that, first what we'll want to do is go to Start My Transaction. So we're going to use Dot Loop as the example since that's the main provider of you know transaction software for KW. All right, so once I click on Start My Transactions, that's going to take me over to the back end of where we can actually create all of our different loops. All right, so I'm going to say I already have this loop created. If not, there is the Add Loop button at the top up here. So I'm going to say this is my loop right here, the 123 Main Street. Perfect. All right, so here is our current loop on here. All right, so in this case, all that I'd have to do instead is go through and just add inside a new document. Now, if you notice, once I click on Add Document, I can then add from our templates inside dot loop that you should hopefully have synced up with your office all right, as long as you now have the red and black branding once you click on the loop all right, then it'll have the template section all right, you can browse and upload a PDF if you see on here from your computer all right, or you can email this in so I'd want to browse to actually add inside the PDF and I've got all my different random PDFs on here all right now let's say I'm not seeing the PDF I want to upload because it's a JPEG right now all right you can actually go to JPG the number two pdf.com so jpeg the number two pdf.com now there are multiple different you know converter platforms out there I've even seen a bunch of people use small pdf.com before alright this is just one that I prefer because it's pretty simple on here alright so all I'd have to do is click the upload files option now one thing to note just to give you a heads up this happens on a bunch of these different converter platforms you're gonna see a bunch of ads around here from Google AdSense and they usually have stuff on here like start, convert, all right, avoid those. Always look for this little X button up here, all right, and if you ever see the X button, that usually means it's something from Google Ads through AdSense. All right, so on here, I want to click the upload file option, all right, and now I can actually go through and I can upload my own, you know, picture, whatever it might be. So I'm going to find a, a picture real quick that I might want to use. Let me see. Hold on one sec. All right, so I went ahead and I just downloaded a sample document because I didn't have any, uh, I don't know why I don't have any pictures on my computer. I guess I have it on a different computer. All right, so here's just a sample document I have just, you know, as, as an example, obviously. So once I click on this, then if you notice, it's going to start converting it for me. All right, so once that's completed, it'll then say download. So I can literally just click that download option, and then it'll download immediately, and it popped up on my other screen. But here's the PDF version of that JPEG that I had. All right, so now since I have that PDF, I can come back over to dot loop. I can click on the browse option on here. And right, I'm going to go through, I'm going to search my documents. All right, and then here's that dot loop, or not dot loop, sorry. Here's that document I just converted. All right, and once I do that, voila. All right, so I've now taken the JPEG version of the document, converted it to a PDF, and uploaded it right inside dot loop. So there you go. So it's that simple to convert a PDF, or sorry, convert a JPEG to a PDF so you can upload that immediately. So there you go. So that is your dot loop tip for the day.